Hello, hello, hello. It is BNHA Audios. And we are back at, um, with another Mikko. I haven't done this one in a while. This is pretty short because I'm just trying to get some videos out because I have a really bad habit with every time the month starts. I just don't record. Like, it's been like a week since I've recorded. But anyway, this is a Miguel X listener. This is where he gets jealous when an intern flirts with you. And yeah, there's no real warning. So that's it. If you want to read this fan fiction by yourself, the link will be in the description. But if you want to read with me, then let's get started. Being second in charge in the multiverse is honestly not that hard for you. It's mostly just co-leading and being a secretary. Lila helps you out a bunch, some to, but sometimes a sassy AI can only do, well, so much. Jess informed you about a new intern she recruited. Apparently, he's having his first day today which meant that you'd probably have to do a quick run-through of the things with him later. For now, though, it's your fated duty to sit with Miguel at his desk so he doesn't get her pouty later. He starts huffing and puffing when you aren't near and takes it out on the kids sometimes. Thanks to your suggestion, Miguel invested into a nice desk and a swivel chair for the office. So now it looks more like um actual workspace instead of a manix plot room. Either way, he is one. Since Lila is gone for the time being, you stand up on your office platform tapping away at the multitude of screens. Miguel lays down lazily in his office chair, swivel it up from behind as you rub his face into as he rubs his face into your upper back, as well as his hands along your tummy. Hun, you gotta let go, I need to turn toward the intern, you mutter, closing in on the ID photo of their crew. No. Well, if I don't do it, then who will? You ask. Jess. Oh my god, she's busy on break, and she is a pregnant woman. A pregnant woman needs a break, you know. Ugh, I just don't want you to leave, he whines, squeezing you tighter. He starts squirming out of his grip, pulling his pinky off your stomach and inching away. You push Miguel away by his head. Reluctantly, he starts letting go, lazily running his hands onto the skin of your hips and lay your lower thighs before completely letting go. I'll see you in a little bit, baby, you say, scruffing up his hair with your palm gracefully. You leap down from the platform, somersaulting onto the floor and skating out of the exit. You hop over a few stray cardboard boxes. Miguel watches you stroll away, and he fixes his hair back into place. Lila magically appears, phasing in and out with a different sly look each time. She snickers before flicking all around Miguel's head. Whip. Uh huh, Miguel replies. Miguel's blood starts to boil as soon as you roll in with that stupid bastard of an intern. He's too close to you for comfort, so close that his arm is nudging yours. Miguel's teeth start to clench, and his fangs are so close to drawing blood from his mouth. He's paying too much attention to you. There's a vibe. He gets, and he hates it to his core. Everything about him is just so aggravating. The blonde hair, the snarky smirk, all of it. And this is Miguel's office, you say, gesturing your hand to the majority of the area. Sweet. Nice to finally meet the boss man. Boss man his ass. Miguel would only ever let you call him boss man. Miguel, come down, you yell and his heart warms in his chest. He turns around from standing on the form of the office platform, eyeing the intern in order to scare him a bit. Hey, what's up, man? I'm so glad I finally get to be meet the man behind the slaughter, the intern exclaims, his hands rest on his hips. Miguel fights every 
urge to roll both of his eyes and tackle the new recruit, keeping a somewhat straight face on it. He chuckles a little bit, though, but not a single smile or trace of a smile is on his face. Hmm. Yeah, excited to meet the boss man, Miguel taunts, but it looks as though the intern can't tell he is. Uh, hell yeah, dude. Where do I start? Miguel starts nodding a little bit, lashing on a fake smile, chuckling a bit, before he throws the entire office chair at the recruit. Not to hit you, though. He'd never, ever hit you. Instantly, the intern turns away, shielding his body with his hands. In a nick of time, though, you launch on your, your webbing onto the chair, slinging it to the side before it could harm anyone. You cross your arms. Oh my god, I, I'm so, 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 so sorry about that. Miguel, you scream. He throws a literal flying file cabinet at the man again. You latch it out of the way without problem. What the, what the heck, man? What's your problem? The intern yells, spreading his arms out. My problem is you nagging my wife. He roars. But what? Wait a second. She's your wife. Go then leaps down from the platform, chin held up high in a sinister glare, slowly as he steps over towards the both of you, fixing his eyes on the intern the entire time. Miguel is, well, tall. Really tall, compared to the newbie. He pokes his finger into the recruit, leaning close. Stay at least five feet away from my wife at all times, Miguel utters. You're not gonna lie, you do feel a little bad for the new guy. Cross your arms. Come on, Miguel, he's literally new. Come on, take it easy on him. You say and Miguel pouts, whines possessively. He reaches over to you, pulling you in by the hip, trying to soothe you. It doesn't work. You try and present yourself from giving into his needy touches. And then you turn back around to the newbie. Ugh, gosh, I am so, so sorry about that. He's, he's usually not like this. Man, F this, the intern exclaims, taking a few steps back in agitation. Take me back to home. I'm not dealing with this this crazy stuff. What even is this? He storms off, kicking a stray cardboard box out of the way. Huh. Finally. You swerve back around, hands on your hips. A gal that was so uncalled for. Yes, it was. He was smothering all over you. He yells, throwing his hands up in the air like it was the most obvious thing in the entire world. Well, now, thanks to you, we've lost our new recruit. Ugh, one of literally thousands. And now there's papers everywhere on the floor. Honey, I'll clean it up later. Ignoring your frown, Miguel finally pulls you into him, pressing your lower back into his own with the nose in your hair. I saw the way he put his arm around you. He was flirting with you too. Hated it. Miguel utters. When? You ask. On the surveillance, he says and you sigh. He, unfortunately, was right. The guy was flirting with you a little bit. But you chose to ignore it so you could just get it over with the tour even faster. If, <sighs> well... He gave me the heebie-jeebies from the beginning, you say, and Miguel automatically squeezes you tighter into him, a deep crumble following through his inner throat. I'm never letting you tour anyone, ever again, Miguel admits. After that, go ahead, scoff, and finally he sighs in relief. He tries to drag you back to the office platform again, but then forgets that he, um, threw the chair grumbling in regret. Instead, he just hovers behind you as you rest for the rest of the day, occasionally pressing a smidge to the back of your head. I hope you guys liked that video. I thought it was very, very, very cute. Um, if you want anyone else, like if you want to request someone, leave it in the comments. And yeah, this will probably get demonetized even though there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm filming this on the 8th of December. It'll probably upload it 
the 10th because like as soon as I upload it it's gonna get demonetized because that's just what my videos do it's so annoying uh, and then I'll have to request it and it takes usually a day or two so yeah tell me when you're seeing this I love you guys links to this fanfiction and my playlist is in the description bye